Okay. Here we are, we're up at the Johnsonville Sausage booth. I said we got some people in the crowd, they'd be cool. I said if you wanna come and watch my cousin Stevie build some rap rods, then you'll see how cool he'd be. I said he builds all kinds of stuff. And he knows how long it takes to build a car. I said it's gonna drive him very, very, very far. Cause his stuff never breaks. He's definitely an ace. Like out of my world. lips are getting tired, keep going. Now. Guys, come on, meet us up on stage. Right. I gotta get him to the stage. Yeah, yeah. Come on over. How you guys doing, man? Good. How's it going, man? Good. What do you got? You just give me your car? Yeah, 4VT Tahoe. You're going to just burn us oh, later? Oh, really? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. I put ball tires on it just for you. You didn't just oh, tease, dude. did you? I'm well, can I do it, too? <laughs> you just let me know when. Yeah. Right. Well, no, you let me know when. What's your schedule like? Do this afternoon when we're done. Yeah. What time? I don't know. What do we, we got? Seven? We got some free time. Yeah, probably around seven or so. Seven? Yeah. All right. Sounds okay. good. All right. yeah. You're going to do burn Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I've been waiting for somebody to let me burn out this shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. I'm supposed to be home by six. <laughs> What's that six? What's that six? <laughs> I have dinner with my wife and family and friends. I might have to call her. We. <laughs> The rat boys. We build rat rods. We may not be cool. Dave is a fool. I can't believe I got him rapping. This is crazy. Now it's making me lazy. See, we I'm an entertainer and Steve be the one that put me in this position. I said, because he's fun. Now we, the white boys, we can't rap. We're not too skinny. We're not too fat. We're not too dirty, we're not too clean, we're just a bunch of rat rod building machines. Yeah, and... <laughs> Hi, my name's uh, Richard Bosch, I'm from Dunville, just south of here. And uh, I appreciate everything you guys do, but I'm watching all of your shows, and I really appreciate the art that you guys put into it. Um, and I know Steve's been doing most of the talking, but a question, I got a question for you. Um, do you regret going into the TV? You, you guys have an awesome team and you build incredible artwork. Your shop would be successful regardless whether you were on a camera or not. But having to rush out and get these projects done in time and all the chaos with TV, 10 months of being not around, do you regret doing it? Would you do it again? Um, I don't, I, I think, I think the biggest thing that I have a problem with is it destroys your friends and it destroys your family because you're so absorbed with what you're doing that you can't wait on no one. You cannot, there's no excuses. I can't listen to problems. Like we have seven days to build a car, you follow me? And what happens is you start to lose track of your friends that you start this with, you know? Things start going away because the damage of the production changes so much you know it changes you as a person and it it's jammed down your throat daily and, and you know i got a lot of things i deal with being the lead guy on the show and the owner of welder up the car isn't the only thing that i have to worry about in creating this car it's everything that goes around it this is the real deal like steve i remember even from the time i was a little kid i he would he would come home to grandma's house when he was living with grandma and grandpa because he was like i don't know why it was well, we won't get into that either but, uh, you know, he would come home and I could just see, like, how tired he was from working all day in the steel yard. Like, just such a really hard-working guy. Um, and, you know, like, I think a lot of times people hate on people that have, like, cool stuff. But the reality of it is, is, like, you know, usually when you have something, it's because you work for it really, really hard. And, you, and you're willing to work harder for it than someone else. You know what I mean? And, like, the reality of it is, though, is, like, Steve is the first one at the shop. He still, at his age, could outwork any one of us. Um, he's nonstop. He goes, when, we're, when I'm at church, Steve's at work. When I'm at my kid's birthday, Steve's at work. And, you know, for me, it's a huge blessing. I wouldn't even be able to be here sitting by him, just kicking it. I think the only reason I'm here, really, is not for talent, just because he trusts me. And, like, even though I steal his parts. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. eBay. My wife says I have to be home at 6. 
Are we supposed to talk about doing burnouts out here? Because, I mean, <laughs> if you could just back it up to this door right here, I'll blow the tires off right there. <laughs> we can move the whole show outside. Let's do this, man. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.